Bellator 204, live on Paramount Network, coming to you from the Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We kick off tonight's action-packed card with the featherweights as Taiwan Claxon faces Chris Lencioni. Taiwan Claxton, Eric Claxton is a guy who is progressing great. Lencioni comes in, tries a lot of fancy techniques, but that ends up putting him on his butt, which is not a bad place for him to be since he's got good submissions. But when you're down there on the ground, you've got to go after those submissions. It didn't happen. Claxton mounts him, starts to pound him, ends up with good wrestling technique, brings him back down to the ground. All of these things lead to a decisive, unanimous victory for Taiwan Claxton. Then it was James Gallagher's return. First fight in 419 days against the newcomer from New Jersey, Ricky Bandejas. Well, you know and everyone else does that James Gallagher is a cocky guy. And he tries, he comes into this, Bandejas does a good job of getting back to his feet, but it's the right hand, this right hand that puts Gallagher on his butt. And that sidekick right there, you don't see that in MMA because it takes so long, but he was hurt and he puts him out on the ground. Gallagher suffering his first loss. And what a debut for Ricky Van Dehots. Then, in our co-main event of the evening, a good old-fashioned backyard South Dakota brawl. Logan Storley showed exactly what type of athlete he is. A supreme wrestler and a guy who is gonna be the Matt Hughes of Bellator. He is so good at his positioning and his ability to suffocate a fighter on the ground. Look at that movement. Gets the hooks inside, puts A.J. Matthews, a great fighter, in bad positions continuously and just systematically beats him down to the point A.J. cannot defend himself. Referee stops the contest. Best performance by Logan Storley ever. And after the fight, he said to Matthews, I'm sorry. Then in tonight's main event of the evening, the bantamweight champion fought at featherweight, and he was very good, very good against Noad Lahat. He's always very good because he's just that type of athlete. He got position, he ends up on the back, and you see those shots coming up underneath the arm. When you don't see the shot, that's the one that puts you out. That's what happened. Beautiful victory for Darian Caldwell. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com or the Bellator app. Friday, September 21st, Patricky Pitbull has defeated Josh Thompson and Benson Henderson. Now, he looks to add Roger Huerta to his list. Good night! And in the main event, undefeated AJ McKee faces his toughest challenge yet when he battles Brazilian powerhouse John Macapa. This is anyone's fight! Bellator MMA, presented by Miller Lite, live September 21st at 9 on the new Paramount Network.